What is up fellow developers? In this video we'll be creating this animated search bar where we can click on this little icon here and it'll expand out to a uh, little uh, nav bar where we can search um, anything we want. Um, and if we click away, it will close back up. If we click in, away. It's wor it works using a really awesome technology um, called Focus Within and it's pure CSS and HTML, nothing else. No JavaScript, nothing like that involved. So let's get started. Let's bring this over to the right. Let's bring over a terminal and let's open it up. Um, and let's create two files, well, three files, two files. Uh, one is gonna be index.html. The other one is gonna be main.sass. So in the markup, in the HTML, we're gonna do quick um, boilerplate emit and we're just going to say animated search bar for the title. Um, we're going to give a link, which is going to link to main.css. And I am just going to quickly copy and paste a SVG. It's a search SVG. We don't actually need all this stuff. We're going to copy some stuff out of it in a minute. So now we've done that, let's quickly write a little bit of markup. I'm going to say container. Inside the container, we're going to have a search box and inside the search box we're going to have a label with the class of search box underscore underscore label tab uh, we're not going to use force or anything for this one and I'm just going to say search dot 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 save and I tell you what in this example here we haven't actually got this search label in I've just thought about that maybe we should have it maybe we shouldn't now, I don't think we need a label. I think it works for it. Uh, we'll use placeholder instead. We're gonna have an input then. <laughs> type text with a dot um, search box underscore underscore input. Uh, we're not gonna have a name. We're not gonna have an ID. Um, we can, however, now have a placeholder, which gonna say search dot dot dot. Um, and let's go to, so under here, we're actually gonna copy out of here some um, SVG code. So we can copy this SVG, paste it into there, hit save, and that is all we need to do. Um, I might even minify this a little. And last one, there we go. Just to make it easy to read, although it's not that easy. So we're going to give it a clutch of search box icon and we're going to leave everything else the same. So with that in place, let's uh, start our surfer so we can actually see what's going on. So in here, we want to say um, SAS. We want to start our SAS compiler. So we're going to say SAS main.css and then we're going to say main.css and then we're going to say dash dash watch dash dash no hyphen source hyphen map hit enter and that's going to run a compiler we're then going to run live um let me just stop my other server i just thought about that um there we go uh, live hyphen surfer and that is going to start as a live surfer over here where we've got this amazing looking um uh website <laughs> so Let's continue on. So now we've got our markup. Our markup's actually complete. Let's head over into our main.css. And the first thing we're gonna do is do some research. We're gonna say margin oh, zero padding, zero box sizing, not box shallow, box sizing, border box, nice. Hit save, that's gonna look, that's gonna update straight away for us. We're then gonna do body and we'll give this um, a background color of 26547C. C, not C, 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 C. Dot container and inside our container, we're gonna give this a width of 100 VW and a height of 100 VH, just because we want to take up the whole box and nothing but the box. We're gonna give this a display of flex justify content center oh da, 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 da. Uh, line item center there we go that's just going to bring it to the middle for us now we're going to use we're going to target our search box we're going to give it a position of relative because we'll be using some um 
position absolute inside don't tell anyone uh, we'll go display block um, width 100% uh, max width 53 pixels there's a reason for that we're gonna set a transition of 0 0.4 seconds linear and you're gonna think in that looks broken still doesn't look good mate and that's because it doesn't look good <laughs> it will do just not yet we're also gonna say overflow hidden um, so obviously that's gonna look broken but we'll, we'll fix that let's go here and say and and underscore input um, actually we're gonna use the proper terminology we're gonna say dot search box underscore underscore input input I'm going to display that also as block I'm going to give it the appearance of none because obviously it's a input appearance I'll uh, we'll give it a width of a hundred percent oh, not 200 percent Jesus a hundred percent a border of none an outline of none because we don't want any of this extra stuff a border radius of a big number like 50 pixels so we can make its edges curved um, a background color and this background color we want to be 24233a there we go nice looking good uh, we'll do box show later we'll say padding of 15 pixels there we go we're getting there um, color of fr um, we're actually can have it the color of the same same with the placeholder Um, so actually you need to be two yeah there we go just so it hides the text currently so you can't actually see the text in there and then we'll have to change it once we focus it um, we're gonna give oh, a font size equal to 20 pixels and a cursor of pointer because we want to make it look like it, we can click it and a transition of 0 0.4 linear save and that's looking broken but we will fix that um so we're giving it a max width of 53 pixels of course that's all cool uh we actually need to give it a, wait we've gave it a border radius of 50 pixels a width oh i gave it a width of 200 percent. i said i didn't want to give it a width of 200 i wondered why it looked funny all right so that's looking good it looks like a ball now let's sort out our um our icon now let's say search box underscore underscore icon and let's basically first things first we want to give it a position of absolute we want to set the right equal to calc we're going to say 53 pixels divided by two the reason for that is because we're giving it a max width of 53 pixels the reason we're giving it a max width of 53 pixels is because if you work out 15 pixels 15 pixels plus a font size of 20 pixels so padding 15 15 on the height wise it works out to be 53 pixels um, so we're basically giving it the same width so it looks like an actual an, ap an actual circle instead of not an actual circle um, and then we're going to calculate that so 53 divided by 2 which is going to center it we're then going to say top 50% and then we're going to do a transform of translate minus 50% no 50% because we want to move it to the right and then minus 50% to move it back up a little We'll give it a width of 20 pixels, a height of 20 pixels, a pointer event of none. The reason for that is we want to be able to click through it. If not, we, would be, we wouldn't be able to click on the actual input. And then we're going to give it a fill of 00F494. It's a nice little mini green. Hit save. And there you go. You can see that. So the reason we're targeting the path is because this is the path which actually holds the color. Oh, I just closed the main. I want to do that. Um, so we've got fill. And we're going to also give the path a transition property of 0 0.4 seconds linear. Because we're going to be animating this too. So that's what it looks like currently. When we click it, we actually focus it. But you can't see it being focused. So let's do that. So underneath the search icon, we're going to do a, a thing. So normally on an... Um, input field you can do focus right but we need to be able to do focus and target all the elements inside the search box so in the search box we can do something called focus hyphen within 
Now this is amazing. This is an amazing pseudo selector. So it means any if you're using a form or something and you wanna you wanna change the properties of this form, all you have to do is say focus within as soon as something's focused. So when something is focusing here, we can say background color red. You ready? So now when I click, so when I click away, it's not red. When I click in there, you can see the red background appears on the background. And that's because we're focuses, focusing this element here and it's focusing something within this element. So when we focus it, we want to give it a max width of 300 pixels. Oh, so that will stretch it out. So now when we click this, you'll see it stretches it out. Perfect. That's just what we want. So that is the opening effect. But now we want to do a lot more. We want to change the colors and everything. So we're going to say search box underscore underscore input. No icon input. Ah, uh, input. We want to say background color. And we're going to set this to a white. We're going to say padding. So we want to actually change padding from 15 pixels to 15 pixels. Actually, we could just say padding right to 50 pixels. Because all we want to do is basically say... Once we've clicked on this, we want the padding to push it from the right over here because else when you type in here, you'll be able, the text will go behind this um, search icon. Um, so 50 pixels and then a box shadow of inset, zero pixels, zero pixels, 10 pixels, RGBA, and it'll be zero, 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 zero point four. So now when we click it, got this slight, really slight inserted uh, box shadow. Now we want to get the search box icon. We want to target the path and we just want to set the fill to be this dark color. So now when we click it, you'll see it changes. <laughs> so that was pretty quick. I just went for that all pretty quick. But that is everything you need for a um, for this animated search box. That is it. That is so super easy. So yes. Yes, and as you can see, it doesn't get it, the text doesn't go under the icon because we added that padding in. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like. If you want to be really generous and hit hit that share button, share with all your friends. And if you really did enjoy this video and you want to see more, then don't forget to hit subscribe with notifications. Oh, I spell it wrong. Wait, no. I will fix this. Notifications on. Turn your notifications on and uh, you'll know as soon as the video goes live. So thank you for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to check out the Discord. The link's in the description. You can join us and many other developers who chat daily, sometimes weekly. It depends what mood everyone's in, but daily. Uh, and uh, get involved with the community, guys. So thanks for watching and peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the